In this video, we are going to talk about Nollywood actors who are featured in Hollywood movies. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the video. Richard Murphy Damijo Richard Murphy Damijo, who is also known as RMD in Hollywood movies, in 2004 starred in Hollywood Guinness movie titled Critical Assignment. He acted with Cleveland Mitchell, aka Michael Power. Richard Murphy Damijo acted the role of president. Why the journalist Mitchell Power is writing an article on the African water shortage, he uncovers links with government corruption and the international arms trade. Soon, he is in danger as the link goes right to the top. Genevieve Nnaji In 1999, Genevieve Nnaji was introduced into the growing Nigerian movie industry known as Nollywood and she started with the movie titled Most Wanted. Talking about her Hollywood movies, Genevieve Nnaji starred in a Hollywood movie titled Famine which also features Kurt Beckinsale and Demon Idris. Famine is a Hollywood movie that talks about a young boy who is a Nigerian who was farmed out to a British family by his parents for a better future. Rather than becoming what his parents wanted him to be, he rather became a gangster leader of white group. Genevieve Nnaji on her part played the role of Tolu alongside Adewale playing the role of her Nigerian parent who farmed him up to an abusive foster mother, a role played by Kate back in cell. Omotola Jelade Omotola Jelade made her Hollywood debut when she appeared in the drama television series titled Hit the Floor on VH1. A movie that tells the story about the life of a professional basketball team's female dance squad. Asha Hayes entered the weird world of professional basketball team when she tries out for the elite early girls dance squad. Against the wish of her mother, Slain, a former dancer herself, she and the musician Ekon Kostar in the fifth edition of the season, that's the first season. Jim Ike One of the Nollywood actors who broke into the Hollywood movie scene is Jim Ike. The Hollywood movie titled And Then There Was You is the movie that got Jim Ike his Hollywood attention. According to the plot of the movie, after her spouse departs for his family outside of his marriage, Natalia turns to picking up the pieces of her life. Daryl wins her heart, but he harbors secrets of his own. In this movie, Jim Ike appeared with A-list Hollywood actors like Brian White and many others. In the movie, the most talented Hollywood actor Jim Ike portrayed the role of Zuma. Olu Jacob This skilled Nollywood veteran actor has acted in a lot of British television shows and Hollywood movies. In the 1980 war drama The Dogs of War, directed by John Irving starring Christopher Walken, Olu Jacob portrayed the role of an immigration officer. One of his most enduring roles was in the role in The Dogs of War. He played the minor but a memorable part as a dishonest immigration officer. He received praises from critics for that part. At the time, the Hollywood movie industry did not offer enough possibilities to Nollywood actors and African actors in general. Therefore, it was a rare feat for Olu Jacob to be in that movie. Emanuela Emanuela, a popular Nigerian comedian on the internet, who appears in comedy skits by Mark Angel. Despite her success in the entertainment industry, that is the Nigerian entertainment industry, the stunning girl decided to venture into acting and made her debut in the Australian movie titled Survive or Die and she gave a fantastic performance in that movie. The cast of Emanuela in this movie was definitely not a mistake as she brought in so many viewers. She was also said to have been featured as a character in Disney Hollywood movies and the announcement was made via her Instagram handle. Funke Akindele Funke Akindele, a Hollywood actress, allegedly made her Hollywood debut in Marvel's Avengers Infinite War. Her name may be seen on the list published by IMDb, a reputable internet resource recognized for featuring the newest movie releases. Akindele was meant to portray as member of Dora Miller, the Black Panther bodyguard in one of the many casts that have been listed of her. However, we are yet to see her appearance in those movies. Osas Igodaro Osas Igodaro is a Hollywood actress. She is well known in the Hollywood movie making and also outside Nigeria. In the soap opera Tinsel, she portrayed the role of Adana. She has additionally appeared in most Hollywood movies. One of the most notable Hollywood movies that she has appeared in was the 2015 movie titled Where Children Play. She co starred in the movie as Nia, alongside Grammy Award winner Marcy Gray and other actors. Where Children Play tells the story of a young woman whom, out of self preservation, 
was able to escape violent familiar settings. However, 10 years later, she needed to go back to the beginning to face her worries. Stephanie Okereke In 2014, Stephanie Okereke acted in the Hollywood movie titled Boonview Redemption. This was with Pat Boone and Edward Asner. The topic of the slave trade in America was discussed in the movie, and Stephanie played the role of Doris, a kind woman who bonds with Belinda, a little girl looking for her biological father. Being kind-hearted is something Doris, a free slave living with her uncle, considered to be a duty. She looks after Belinda's grandmother, Miss Mary, and she also gives a young boy a place to live. Stanley Aguzi Nigerian actor Stanley Aguze featured in the season of Irish-Canadian historical drama series titled Vikings. He also featured in the movie titled Into the Bad Line as a loyalist to Queen, a baron of the bad lines. Aguze also featured in an English documentary titled Things Who Killed Shoin, aired on CBS. Speaking about his role in the movie The Bad Lines, he said, When I was invited for the casting, I went thinking I couldn't get the role since I'm not as handsome as the character described. Yeah, Look at who I'm chilling with. That's Israel Abdesoya. And they tell you, the style better himself. They tell you, we're celebrating him. We are celebrating Israel in Dublin, man. I'm telling you, we tell my guys that. We tell my guys that this is a Nigerian restaurant, guys. I'm telling you, strong men in the building. Israel, am I going to UFC? When? No. Am I going without any experience? Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> at least one fight for us. At least. Uh, yeah. at one fight for us. Yeah, one. one, so one I, I can pick somebody from here, but everybody here looks too strong. Man. <laughs> everybody here looks too strong. Yeah. Man, we're celebrating in Dublin, man. We're so happy to have you in Dublin, yeah, right? Thank you. When I met him today, I was like, yeah. food. I tell you, food. I tell you, we are, we are in a Nigerian yeah. restaurant. I tell you. All right, guys. Yeah, hello, my name is Stanley Aguzi. You know, I have this thing that has been bothering me and I think it's the right time to say it. You know, for Nigeria to be better, we need to have what we call political revolution. And when I say political revolution, I don't mean violence, I don't mean war or fighting whoever. No, it's going to be all of this presidential aspirant from the likes of Kingsley Mugalu, Ferrad Lotario, Thomas Wiesen, Omoye Leso Ware, Ahmed Buari, Mate Asado, Tope Fasau. All of you need to come together and be under one political party. This one, you all are having one political party and the rest. Listen, if you continue that way, you're not going to go anywhere. You're only going to have it on your CV that you're one time a presidential aspirant and that is not what we want. We want you guys I have a list of videos that talk about movie scenes that are significant. You can check them out in this playlist. Click on this place to check them out before this video ends. Before, because if this video ends, it will go away. <laughs>